Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. Premiere Pro, it's 14 years old now, and it's grown to be pretty big and powerful. So big in fact that the average user probably isn't gonna know every single aspect of the program. So what does this mean? Well, it means there's probably some helpful hints you never knew about in Premiere Pro. And today, we're gonna be looking at five of them, starting out with master clip effects. Usually when you want to make changes to a clip, you click on the clip and then make your changes. Then if you have a different clip from that same video file, you'd make those changes again, and then again and again where applicable. But here's what affecting the master clip can do. It can let you make changes to the video file itself within Premiere Pro. So now any of the clips on your timeline that come from that video file will have those changes applied immediately across your timeline. To get to your master file effects, double click on your video file in the project manager, and under effect controls, select the master file here. Now make your changes like you normally would, and the changes will be applied across your project. If you're looking for another way to save time, this is definitely a good one. Number two, reserve RAM. This is probably the easiest place to start trying to address a bottleneck in your Premiere Pro workflow. Just tell your computer to have more RAM available for Premiere Pro to use. The process is simple. Go to Preferences under either the Edit or Premiere Pro tab, and then go down to Memory. You'll see a set of numbers at the top here. The one in blue that says RAM reserved for other applications is the one you want to focus on. Drop this number as low as you can. This basically frees up the maximum amount of RAM for Premiere Pro to have access to. This may not solve all of your problems, but if not, you at least know that RAM is not the cause of your bottleneck. Number three, target tracks. If you're big on keyboard shortcuts, then using either the period or the comma key can help you to quickly insert clips right where the playhead is at. But have you ever been bringing clips into your timeline and thought, there's a lot of different layers that this video file could land on. Why does it always go to track one? Especially if it's chopping off some existing footage that's already there. It can get pretty annoying pretty quickly. So what's going on? Well, your layer targeting is probably set by default to audio and video track layer number one. It's all done with these markers here, the ones that say V1 and A1 over here on the left hand side. To switch these up, just click on a different track layer in the same location, and you'll set the target for these clips to land on that layer. Now you can add clips without worrying about overwriting other clips that are already there. Number four, favorite text. This one is specific to CC 2018. There's so many fonts that you can choose from within Premiere Pro, but there's probably only about 10 or less that you consistently go back to again and again. This is where it can be helpful to star your favorites. Now, instead of scrolling through a list of all the garbage fonts that you don't want to use just to find the ones that you do, you can have all of your favorites available just at the click of a button. Click here to star your favorite fonts, and then click here to view only your favorites. It makes things so simple. And finally, number five, the star symbol. This is a very different star than in our previous example. It doesn't really give you any added flexibility in your workflow, but what it does allow you to do is quickly check to see if the work that you have done is safe or not. If you look up here at the top of your Premiere window and at the end of the title of your project, you'll likely see a little star asterisk. Basically, if you see the star there, it's telling you that you have work done in your project that's not currently saved. You may think that this doesn't make any difference to your workflow until you know about it. You may just be surprised about how many times you actually look up to check to see if it's there. For example, if your computer freezes and you can't do anything, but you can still see everything, you can quickly look up and see if the work that you've done up until that point is safe or not. No star, no problem. Rest easy. And guys, that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider giving it a like or even subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you really liked it, maybe share it with a fellow video editor friend. You can also check out all of our other content over at motionarray.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.